All right, we're going to finish up this UID demo uh, series with a couple um, efficiency suggestions for folks, and also um, uh, there's you know so many other things we could actually talk about in Bartender, but these are a couple things that I think will um, be beneficial to a very broad audience. The first is, if you've looked at the previous videos, you can see that there's a fair amount of um, intricate steps to creating filters, character filters, uh, line filters, um, user input forms, that kind of thing. And to do that for each and every UID um, template size change, it might seem a little bit arduous, but I wanted to point out something that's in Bartender Designer that uh, can uh, really simplify that that process of designing the second and the third and the fourth template. So <clears throat> if you go up to view and you hit toolbox, you will see that there's layers, data sources, and components. I'm just gonna show all. And components is an interesting thing because it allows you to take all of your hard work, all of your programming, all of your filters, everything that you've put into a design element and use it again and again and again. Um, so, for example, if I were to create a brand new design, there's nothing on this page at all, I can just go over to a component, drag it over, and I get an entire UID um, template here, right? So if I now put in a value for part number, what happens? Oops, sorry. Uh, there we go. Uh, there's a, oops, sorry, I think I miss that so if i go down here again you know put in some value here there we go you'll see that all of the functionality i had before i was able to save as a component and now i can use it again and again and again and again uh, it's a really nice feature so how do you actually create a a component well you can just if you want it to just be the text part that you're creating a component for you can do that just the barcode you can do that separately or you can just go in and say control A for select all, right click and say create component. And now you can give it a name and you can say UID demo um, full, whatever, whatever you want it to be. And now <clears throat> if I go and I create a new file, I can just come over here, drag it and the whole thing comes once again. It's an independent piece of design uh, that isn't going to affect anything other than the template that it's on. So you don't have, it's not like a um, um, <clears throat> a stored piece of, of, it's not a stored design element that affects anything other than the one template that it's used on. So you can use it again and again and again and again. Really nice feature. Okay, so that's for designers. Now, something for the shop floor people and probably for the process engineers that are supporting it. We don't really want to have users uh, inside Bartender Designer because then they can move things around, right? They could say, oh, I don't really like that. I want it on the other side. Or I don't like that font. I'm going to change the font. You don't want them to do that. So Bartender comes with a suite of modules, some of which are used for IT people, data people. But <clears throat> when it comes to a tool that's specifically for shop floor folks is called PrintStation. And PrintStation is a local program, runs on a local PC where printing is going to take place. And it provides a thumbnail image of every bartender template within a certain folder location. And you can set up, you can set this program up to allow people to navigate or not to navigate to different areas. But wherever you go, there's going to be if there is a, um, <clears throat> a bartender template, a .btw file, you will see a thumbnail image of that template right there. Okay, So I have previously stuffed this uh, UID demo program right there. And if I just click on it as a, as a uh, shop floor user, I will be able to print or print preview. doesn't really matter. Um, I will do this. And I can do the same thing I was doing from within the designer program, but now I'm just seeing it in terms of the print dialog box. 
box. I'm not seeing it um, in the design window. All I can do is print. Okay. And <clears throat> there's my end label. This is a really nice feature, and it comes with the bartender suite. It's not an add-on. It's a it's a module that is is available for anybody who buys bartender, and it's our recommendation for how you want to deploy printing on the shop floor. You can keep all of your labels in different folders, segregate them by department or shop, um, division or location, however you want to do it. And but your printing environment then for the shop floor is as simple as physically locating it here, clicking on it, putting in any uh, in any data from a manual input field, or if it's linked to a database, you'll be selecting a record. Maybe you'll be scanning a work order, whatever the prompt is telling you to do. But the user will not be able to change the design. And huge, simple interface for uh, for for the shop floor, and uh, a huge advantage to process engineers as well who are concerned about uh, unwarranted changes to the design.